Hi ladies, welcome to today's video. Today I wanna to take you through everything you need to know about the gel moment lip stains. How I prep the lips, how I store them, how I apply them so you too can have long lasting all day lip color. This is the cute box that they came in. This was from the set of four. It's just everything about it is just cute. There's also sets of two that you can purchase. And first things first is the storage of these items. It is a lip stain. So do not get it confused with a lip gloss, a lipstick, a liquid lipstick. It is none of those things. It is a lip stain. So what a lip stain is, is basically a water-based product that's filled with pigment. So it is going to actually stain your skin. It is not going to be easily wiped off. It's not going to transfer. So that is why it wears all day because it is actually staining the skin. So storage is key just because if you think of, an, of the ink in a pen, if you store it, um, tip up, all that ink is going to run to the bottom. So these are no different. You want to store them tip down so the pigment is ready and waiting for you in the tip when you're ready to apply. Um, the box is flat on the bottom so you could store them like this, but I personally like to see my makeup products. I think makeup products are so beautiful and this packaging is really cute. So I just put them in an old candle container that I had and the ends are all colored so I can easily see which color I want to grab for that day. And I keep this with all of my other makeup goodies and it's ready to use. The tips are down. So right now there are four colors to choose from. The first one is creme de caramel. It is a beautiful nude, so easy to wear for every day. It is a, um, I have lots of pictures. You can search through the page, but it is a peachy nude. It's beautiful. The next one is Urban Myth. It is a rusty red. I love this shade. I really love it. It might be my second favorite and I didn't think this would be a color that I would gravitate to, but it is perfect for a night out. It's not too bright of a fiery red. It's muted down enough that it's just, it's so wearable. I really, really love the shade. I think all of these shades could be pulled off on all skin tones, which is hard to do. It makes your teeth look really white. I love that one. The next one is just, it's a beautiful pink. It's called Loving Hue. It's a mid-tone fuchsia, I would say. And again, this is something that I would wear every day. And then the last but not least is the darkest of all four. It's a mauve story. And it's a dark purpley burgundy. It is gorgeous, kind of has a little bit vampy vibes, but it's still totally wearable. It does not look black or anything like that. It still has enough purple in it. It is, it is such a pretty classic kind of burgundy purple lip. So today I am going to apply, I think I'm going to apply just because this pigment is unreal. I want to show you guys, um, I'm going to wear this red one today. And first things first, for your lips, any texture that is on your lips, this will stain. So the key to lip stains and to have that smooth, flawless finish is to exfoliate your lips. So water is super important to keep everything hydrated, but lips are exposed and the skin is soft, so it's tend to dry. And an easy way to smooth that down is something that I do every day, twice a day when I'm washing my face. I just take my face cloth and go over my lips as well. <clears throat> it has enough grit to it that it'll, it will keep everything nice and soft. So twice a day as I'm washing my face, I just go over my lips as well. If you have a little bit of extra dry skin there, when you're in your kitchen, take just some sugar and go over your sink and give it a really good scrub and it'll get rid of all of those dry patches and then just rinse it off and you're good to go. Some chapstick and you're set. So I like to put chapstick on, especially before I go to bed. It could sink in and then the next morning I'm exfoliating again and I put chapstick on before I do my makeup. So I keep everything... Um, like dry, you know, the dry patches, you want to keep your lips free of that because this will catch and stain that. And that doesn't look good just because it's going to draw attention, <clears throat> excuse me, to those dry areas. So <clears throat> storing tip down, lips are exfoliated and moisturized. If you wear a full face of makeup like I do, you might have makeup residue sitting on your lips. So you might want to just take a wet wipe and go over the lips. And just make sure that they're free of any foundation or powder or concealer, anything that you had previous put, previously put on. We want to be able to see our lip line because these are no joke. It is going to stain where you put it down. Alrighty, so tip down. They all have the same tip. Look at how cute they are. They are a little heart in the end of the tip. Super cute. And they are itty bitty. Like they are tiny. This is by far the smallest tip on a lip product that I've ever had. The small tip is nice just because it's very precise. My personal feedback to the company was I would like a little bit of a bigger 
tip just so that application is a little bit quicker but with a bigger tip you would have to just be careful that you don't go outside the lines too much so to speak because it is really hard to get off once you lay it down so i have a little mirror here to help me and what you're going to do is turn it i like to turn it on its side so skinny side down and you are going to draw your lip line okay so here we go i'll try to do it here all the way down and up the other side okay then i like to fill in my bottom lip so you can kind of press that and then turn it on its side and fill in your entire lip okay bottom lip done you can press the pigment up you don't need an extra pigment by any means the coverage is full with just one layer so that's the bottom lip you're going to do the same turn it on its side so it's skinny side follow your lip line the other side and even when you're applying try to keep the tip down so you can keep that pigment running to the applicator and then turn it on its side and just swipe it on so there we go now with me i don't have super full lips but if I'm wearing a loud lip, I want it to be in your face, like all or nothing, give me all the lips. So what I like to do, because this stains the skin, wherever it touches, it will stain. You can overline your lips and pull it off because it's not going to bleed and it's not going to move. So if you are feeling a little bit gutsy and want to try this, do because the payoff is nice. I mean, you get that fuller look so i'm going to use my little mirror here so i don't make a good, crazy big old mess but that's basically my natural lip line which is fine but i just want it to be a little bit juicier and bigger so same application technique i'm just going to fudge that line up just a little bit so here we go and you can open your mouth and really get into the corner Try to keep that tip down as best as you can. Get into the corner. So there, you can see how that top lip is fuller now. So this will take a little bit of extra time just because you are over drying. So I'm gonna do the bottom just a bit. Bottom is always easier. It's less, less shape to figure out. Okay, so there we go. I'm happy with that shape. Now, if you're a little bit messy like I am, keep your concealer brush handy and you can see, oh, whoops, made a little bit of a mess. So you can either take waterproof makeup remover so i'm doing this a little bit faster than maybe i should have so i made a little bit of a mess you can take waterproof uh makeup remover i personally swear by the mary Kay. it's kind of water and oil separated you shake it up put it on kleenex or a wipe or a cotton ball whatever you'd like q-tip works even if you're working around the lip area this is what i use to remove my whole lip like this will wear all day so this is what i use for my eye makeup and for my lips if, if you want to like try to remove it, but usually I just take my concealer brush and I just go over it and it'll cover up. So if you make a mess, which usually it's not quite this messy, but you can see this, how it'll cover. There, there we go. 
there we go. So if you make a mess, I mean, you'll want to clean it up quick just because it dries so fast. You can either remove little bits or just cover it up. And that is basically it. So like I said, to remove it, you will need a waterproof makeup remover. Some people have tried micellar water, which will work too. Um, it just might not be strong enough to get all of the color off. This will dry down and it will just take on the texture of your lip. So it's not, it doesn't have a finish to it. It's not a matte finish. It's not a glossy finish. It doesn't really have a finish. It's basically colored water. So whatever texture your lips are going to have is what it's going to look like. If you want to add a little bit of moisture, you can throw on chapstick. I've tested it. I've tested it with chapstick. It wears great. If you want a little bit of more moisture onto the lip, I've tested it under lip gloss. I've tried clear gloss. If you want to keep the color pigment as is, put a clear gloss on it, wears great. If you want to tweak the color, say you wanted it more red, add a red lip gloss. If you wanted it more um, like a lighter red, you can add a nude gloss, it would tone it down. You can tweak it that way too. You can even put, if you have a favorite lipstick on, if you wanted to add a little bit of volume to the lip, you can throw a lipstick on. It wears great because your skin is stained. It is not going to feather or bleed or anything. So this is an all day wear product. So I cannot wait to hear from you guys. Post below any pictures of these beautiful shades on your lips. I would love to see them. And when you guys have feedback, please post below because I would love to send that up to customer service as well. Because products that we're coming out with, I, I just think if we can make them better, why not? You guys have come up some with some awesome um, suggestions already. So thank you so much for those. But look at how white my teeth look. Like I did not think I would like the shade. Teeth look white and this will wear all day long. So happy makeup applying and we will see you next time.